Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So this here is the x Chalk. These are for travel trailers. Super nice. The cool part about these are they provide added stabilization and prevent tire shifts by opposing force to tandem axle applications. So in other words, movement as far as front to back. Now these are not a substitute for actual wheel chocks like this. They keep your RV from rolling, but they work well in conjunction with them. So use a set of these to keep your RV from rolling, but this will stop the sway back and forth. Now these are made for tandem axle trailers, not it won't work with a single axle trailer because they go right between the two axles and they tighten in between them and that will keep it from moving back and forth. So super cool. These were sent to me by BAL Industries. These are the x Chops. They did not pay me a dime to do this. They sent them to me to review. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna open this box up. Now this is a kit of two. I think you can also buy these in singles. So some of the things it says, as opposed to other chocks, the x Chalk work with the tire's natural movement instead of against them. Fits even the tightest of applications, retracting down to one and three eighths inch and extends up to 10 inches. Now they do make a bigger set that uh, if you have these axles that are spaced further apart than this, they have a larger set. These things are built with a rust inhibitive coating, so they're gonna last you a long time. You don't have to worry about them rusting up on you. They're not heavy, they're pretty lightweight, easy to store away in your compartment when you're not using them. But this is the x Chalk model number 28012, and I will post a link below. So let's go ahead and take these out of the box and check them out and put these on. I think they're gonna be really cool for this tandem axle trailer here. So what you get in the box is actually two x chocks, just like this, and you also get a wrench. Now, it is recommended that you don't use an impact on this. It would actually be, the way this is designed, hard to put an uh, impact on it anyway, but this wrench is all you need to sufficiently tighten these things down to keep from moving. So I would recommend definitely don't use an impact on them, even if you could get an impact to it. They do have a nice handle on them, hold them right here to put them on. And you can set these either upright with the, this on top, or if you have a lower skirt like mine, I'm probably going to have to put this on the bottom. So just put it like this. All a ratchet does, this is a three-quarter ratcheting wrench. It'll flip either way, or you can just turn it over to change directions. So all you do is take your ratcheting wrench supplied, put it on here, and then you can just crank it out to go in between your tires. Now you won't have to crank this so much after the first time, because you just need to release it enough to pull it out from under your tandem axles. So once you get this adjusted for your travel trailer, then you just have to flip it over or flip your wrench to change directions like that to crank them down. So as you can see on this video clip here, I take and I shake the trailer from inside and you can see the forward to back movement. You can also see the up and down movement and that's what this is going to help eliminate. So we're going to try the x chocks and see what it looks like after this. Now this little video clip here is showing with the, the wheel chocks in place. And you can see the movement actually even with the wheel chocks, you still have a lot of movement. So it looks like mine is going to fit like this and I can still put this on top, which is nice. If your skirt hangs down lower, like I said, you can actually flip this over and where you could use the wrench from the lower side. The feet on this actually pivot, so they actually contour to both tires and make it where it's nice and secure, holds it nice and in place. You don't have to take this thing and crank it down to you're smashing your tires in real hard. Just run it down to it's nice and snug and you should be good. You can actually leave your wrench on here or I would actually take it inside and stow it away while you're camping just to keep uh, anybody from taking that or seeing it or you losing it. So nice and solid in there. Now let's take this thing and see how the travel trailer moves back and forth. So 
So now you can see that we actually still have the up and down, which is, of course, your suspension moving up and down. But you notice the dramatically improved, almost gone, is the movement from front to back. So now, like I said, you also want to use wheel chocks, and this is just a extra precaution. This is going to keep your travel trailer from rolling. Like I say, this is not a substitute for these. It's made to use in conjunction with these. So you always want to go ahead and have your wheel chocks. Especially if you're on a big incline, you want to take every precaution you can to keep your travel trailer nice and solid, keep it from rolling. Now that was only on one side. I'm going to take this one, stick it on the other side, and it's going to be really, really solid when I do that. Okay, as you can see now with them both in place on both sides, this thing hardly moves at all. It makes it real nice and solid. Very cool. Okay guys, so that is it for the BAL X Chops. Thank you BAL for sending these over for me to check out and review and show everybody. I think this is a great item. I will post a link to Amazon on my store where you can check these out. But they are definitely worth the money. Super simple to use. As far as taking them off, there's not going to be hardly any work at all to taking them off. Take our wrench, flip it to the reverse position to back them off. And you don't actually have to uh, loosen them a lot just to get these off enough to take out. And what you would want to do is, after a day or so, you can actually come out and check the snugness of these, make sure they're snug, and you should be good to go. But that's all you got to do. So if you leave it adjusted like this, the next time you put them in, you don't have hardly any uh, adjusting to do just to get this thing back out and put them into place. Just like that. So that's it, guys, for the BAL X Chops. Thank you all for watching. Check out the link below. Click the thumbs up on this channel if you like this video. Subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Right on.